What is good, fellas, and welcome back to the channel. It is time for another Crazy Stupid Experiments. So this time around, we're going to do it a little bit different. I'm not going to become the player that we make 99. We're just going to follow his career. A year or two ago, I did the career of a 99 wide receiver, and we were forced to retire after 15 years because that's what Madden does all the time. You can only play 15 years. Today, we're just going to rock as the Steelers straight up. As you can see, everything in the league settings is on automatic other than Scout College players, but that's only going to be on for this first year. As for the Steelers, they have nothing to do with this really. I'm just going to act like the Australian government and when there's big decisions to be made, I'm going to do nothing. All right, here we go. Auto-generated rookies. Let's get it. Who is going to be the number one receiver? Why doesn't this guy have a face? He's from Connecticut. I don't trust it, but I'm curious. Holy shit. Steven Bernard. I'm, I'm going to have to... I might as well follow this guy's career. <laughs> We're going to follow John Meredith. Looks to be a mid-first rounder. Wait until we edit him. So Meredith is a 75 overall. Out of curiosity... What development is this guy? If the game will let me choose. He's a normal dev. Well, now he's an X Factor. How tall was Jerry Rice? 1.88. Well, no, I need feet, you f well, how, how many feet was he, though? Not meters. 6'2. All right, so John Meredith is done. 6'3, 223 pounds, 99 overall. We're going to go check out the combine stats as well, because I haven't checked them out this year. Bro, are we just a Steven Bernard stand now? 426? Are you kidding? What are the odds there would be this no-face cornerback in here who just happens to be the greatest cornerback of all time? 10.1 combine. 424 reps, 43.6 inch vert. I've got a 43.6 inch vert too. So interestingly enough, Joey McCollum goes first holy 82 overall he's a superstar he's not an x factor but my goodness i have never seen a cornerback like that in my life in any madden period that's crazy how late did our guy get drafted here he goes picked up 22nd overall goes to the Bengals. well they just signed themselves one hell of a player difference is like i said we're not becoming meredith ah, i just got booted from my own franchise okay Fiber optic internet and everything in between, but can't even stay connected to a franchise for longer than five minutes. So here we go. We're going to simulate 10 years. We'll get an initial update. And from there, every couple years, we'll just follow him around the league. See where he goes. I'm very curious to see where he ends up. The league is a different place. All right. So first things first, we got to go get an update and see where our guy is now. Is he still on the Bengals? I wonder. I wonder. Our team looks pretty stacked as well. We got a mean free safety. John Meredith is still there. He has ankle breaker. It's a weird ability. Drop down to 98 speed, 95 COD. So he has dropped down in terms of stats. 32 years old. Let's see what the... Woo! What the stats are looking like. His most recent season, he put up 1,600 yards, 18 touchdowns. Had a really down section here, only barely cracking 1,000 minimal touchdowns. Only one year we have not cracked 1,000 yards, and that was his third season. He's made six Pro Bowls, was the Rookie of the Year, three-time Best Receiver Award. I need to get an update, though. Let's go check and see if the Bengals have won any Super Bowls. It's like a little dual series here. I'm curious to see if that cornerback has been putting up mad numbers as well. No, he's not there. He left. He went to the Jets and was like, I'm out of here after my rookie contract. Wow, he fell off bad. Going up three overall. I imagine he probably would have been a 90-something at some point. So this is Joe Burrow's first year not with the Bengals because he was there last year and won the MVP. The good news is they have won a Super Bowl. They've won two Super Bowls, three Super Bowls. That little streak they had there was nice, huh? How many Super Bowls did Jerry Rice win? Four Super Bowls. So we got to win two more at a minimum. That's my game plan. Now, I'm almost certain that our wide receiver is not going to retire after 15 seasons. He's still going to be a high 90. So from here, we'll go another 10, but I'll stop it after five years. Wow. In the 2036 playoffs, the Bengals barely got cut short by the Jets 21 to 9. Granted, we don't know if Meredith is still there. We'll have to get an update on that. So I can confirm the Bengals have not been to the Super Bowl since 2031. 
Is he a real one? Oh, he left. Wait, he didn't retire, did he? Meredith, I think he did retire. He's in the Hall of Fame. He has an 18,762 legacy score. Edged out Tyree Kill, who edged out Larry Fitz, who edged out Julio Jones, who edged out Antonio Brown. And Lamar Odom came back and went to the NFL. Who was on crack? There's no way Madden made him retire after 15 seasons. Unless he retired even sooner than that, which makes even less sense. Meredith didn't make it onto receiving yards in a game, unfortunately. Our arch enemy Jerry Rice did though. What about seasoned? We have an update here. Calvin Johnson, 1964. In 2029, Meredith put up 1,704 yards. Again, beat out by Jerry Rice, who had 1848 in 1995. It's not looking good. What about career, though? This is what it comes down to. This video is brought to you by HelloFresh. HelloFresh makes eating healthy easy, even with a busy schedule. They offer a delicious variety no matter your preference, sourced and packed with fresh produce directly from farmers, featuring quick breakfasts and lunches, additional protein sides, and even dessert. HelloFresh cuts out the stressful meal planning so you can enjoy cooking and getting food on the plate within 30 minutes. The best part is after a busy day of work in the gym, I don't have the stress of wondering what to eat. Besides the amazing variety, it's very flexible. I can add or subtract meals if I know I'll be out for the night. With diet being crucial to the gym, I throw in extra proteins and they can accommodate you or your entire family with larger box sizes for more servings and more savings. I really enjoy cooking, but struggle to find the time. But now with HelloFresh, my love of cooking has come back. And no matter how bad I am at cooking, with HelloFresh, my roommate always compliments me on how well it tastes. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code 14 crow for up to 14 free meals across your first five HelloFresh boxes, plus free shipping. Again, that's code 14 crow in all caps to get up to 14 free meals and free shipping. Thank you to HelloFresh for the sponsor, and now, back to the video. You gotta take this with a grain of salt, cause for one, injuries are off. Jerry Rice finishes with 22,895 after 20 seasons. Meredith finishes with 18,806. Let's get a debate going down in the comment section. I'm curious. We're gonna assume Meredith played around 13, 12, 13 seasons and still put up 18,806 yards. So the yards is a no brainer. Obviously Meredith destroys Jerry Rice in terms of consistency. Jerry Rice was a lot more valuable in terms of longevity. How many games did Jerry Rice miss due to injury. Rice is also remembered for his work ethic and dedication to the game. In his 20 NFL seasons, Rice only missed 17 regular season games, 14 of them in the 1997 season, and the other three in strike-shortened seasons of 1987. So 17 games is pretty much just one season in the, the modern, ultra-modern era. Jerry Rice played 20 seasons, with 16 games per season. I'm not sure how many he won four Super Bowls. I imagine the Niners would have been in the playoffs a lot as well. This is a tough one. Obviously, Meredith has a huge leg up, but we're talking about the greatest receiver of all time, and we're trying to beat the greatest receiver of all time. Jerry Rice had 197 touchdowns. Meredith had 188, so barely missing out. Nine touchdowns short of tying Jerry Rice. We did dominate Randy Moss in this area, though, by 32 touchdowns. Receiving touchdowns in a game, Jerry Rice had five. I do not see us here at all. Rice might have gotten 22 in a season, but we had 21, 20, and 20. Two of those were in back-to-back -back seasons, keep in mind. It comes down to this. If Meredith played longer, played even four more years, uh, we're overtaking Jerry Rice. It's kind of like the Calvin Johnson argument, though. It's like, is he the GOAT? Because he retired so young, you know? Let me know down in the comment section, fellas. Whose career you think ultimately turned out better? What do you value more is the real question here. First and foremost, fellas, if you enjoy videos like this, let me know down in the comment section. If there's any other positions or any other stupid experiments you want me to try, this is the place for you. Let me know down in the comment section and I would be happy to turn your ideas into videos. But if you made it this far into the video, then you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Sometimes I'm wondering, can I breathe right underwater? Ooh. Sometimes I'm
Sometimes I wonder, can I speak in outer space? Sometimes I wonder, can I call upon the thunder? Sometimes I wonder, can I make the earth shake? I'm celestial, like in all the 